Should write a book. Should be reading a book right now. I wait for this thing to load. <laughs> School days. Boy, this thing is gonna take all days to load, eh? Huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and we have finally conquered the evil load screen and entered school days. This is it, school days. I like how they spelled it incorrectly, like with the K and the the Z and the E. It's kind of a thing back in the 80s, I suppose, to kind of spell things this way. It was like rad to do so. I guess later, eventually, it was Leet Speak. It was like seven or what l337 or whatever spelled like leet that was like that came later this is before leet speak even you spell school with a k that's how you knew that you were a badass so this is part of my uh or this is a back to school special it is september 1st or close to it i think it this this video will probably come out on september 1st exactly and I figured, why not play a game about going back to school? Because a lot of people in this world are going back to school right now. And so we've been watching the little demo here. Let's go ahead and try and play. And I honestly do not fully know how to play. But we're going to give it a shot. Would you like to put in your own names? Yes, I would. Cast of characters. Our hero, Eric. He looks just like every other student we saw hanging around there. Okay. Can I type in a name? Press C to change the name. Oh, of course, we're going to change the name. We want to be... No. Oh, my God. I typed in J. And believe it or not, I didn't misspell it. It's just I typed it too fast. I couldn't keep up. So now we're Jaya. All right. Fine. We're Jaya. Oh, no, wait. We can change it. Okay, good. Phew. I thought we were going to have to be Jaya the whole game. Typing in very slowly. The Commodore 64 can't handle typing things too quickly. So I don't want to mess it up. Okay, our hero saunters off into the distance to wait his turn. And next up is the SWAT. What the hell is a SWAT named Einstein? All right, fine. You can be you can be named Einstein. What the hell's a SWAT? This must be British slang. So this is uh, a UK game, I believe. And so what what the hell's a tearaway? The boy wonder. Well, that's Robin's nickname, but I'll I'll allow it. Who else we got? We also have the bully, Angel Face. What kind of name for a bully is Angel Face? Now we gotta change that. Is uh, C? Man, it it's it's touchy with the controls here already. I can tell. I'm pressing buttons. It's not always registering. Uh, I feel like a bully name is like Mickey. Not like Mickey Mouse, but like. Mickey, it sounds like kind of an old school boxer kind of name. It'd probably be a bully. Mickey. Mickey has uh, problems on the home front. He takes it out on his fellow classmates. He's uh, going to have a pretty crappy life when we think about it. The future is not looking bright for old Mickey. Uh, Mr. Creek. Okay, the history guy. Sure. Clearly looks like he is from the pages of history. He could barely stand. He looks decrepit and old. He may die at any moment. Next we have the geography teacher, Mr. With It. Now he's like the cool one. He's like the one that like all the girls like and all the guys like want to be like, you know. Um, we'll let him. We'll let him have his name, Mr. With It. He had to earn that name. Science teacher, Mr. Rocket. He doesn't look like a Mr. Rocket to me. Okay, we're gonna change his name too. Uh, C, come on. We're gonna change it to. Uh, <laughs> can we call him Mrs. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, Ms. Finkelstein. Finkel. Oh, man, you have to type so slow. This is crazy. St uh, Ms. Finkelsta. Sure, whatever. It is a dude, but we're going to... We're gonna give it a miss. We're we're gender bending on this little excursion back to school. Man, I can't believe we've been playing for like five minutes. We're not even in the game yet. We're literally just naming characters. The headmaster, Mr. Wacker. Sure. Okay, can can we actually get to the game now? This is, as I say, a school-based game where the objective of the game is to like steal your report card. 
It's very Dennis the Menacey kind of like the traditional. Uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Kind of like the old school school view on like when kids misbehave, they like have slingshots in their pocket and they. Uh... Oh crap! <laughs> what are the buttons? Which one am I? Oh, I'm this guy. Okay, I'm the guy in the bottom left here. See, he's like taking one step at a time. Okay, that's who I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna go this way. But it's a very sort of like 1950s-esque view of bad behavior. Okay. Um, oh, I can sit on the ground. Okay. I don't know what purpose this serves. I think you get in trouble for sitting when you're not supposed to. Oh, I just shot a slingshot. What the hell is this? Oh, I'm punching? Okay. I'm, I'm learning the moves as I go. I'm like waving. Interesting. But how do how do you walk? Here here's my dilemma. <laughs> it's interesting you can sit on the ground and Einstein is going to tell Mr. Wacker what you're up to. You must stop him getting to his study this break. Wait, I just want to turn around, yo. I'm not trying to cause uh, trouble. Okay, hold on, time out. Okay, so we got a very interesting control scheme here. P is to turn left and right. Uh, oh wait, no, P is to go right. Oh my god, which, which one am I? Wait, okay, P, this is very confusing. P and O are to turn left and right. Q and A walks in the direction that you're going. Uh, how do you go up the stairs? <laughs> Can sit in front of the stairs. Can shoot a slingshot. Oh, is that gonna hit someone? I didn't mean to, if it does. I got 300 lines. Don't hit your mates, your mats. 500 lines. That one was already in the air, just to be fair. Take 2,000 lines, you nasty boy. So apparently in this game, when you get caught doing bad things, you get lines. What the hell is a line? I have no, I've never heard of this thing in my entire life. A line, it must, again, it must be a British thing. I need some British people here. Oh, 700 lines. Oh my God, I'm just trying to figure out the controls. Catapults are forbidden. Yeah, don't take it away from me or anything. That would just make too much sense. Okay, we need another time out here to figure out how to go up the stairs. This is pretty funny. I've been trying to look up controls for this game and the teacher just standing in front of me, giving me lines. I don't know how to go up the stairs, sir. I would totally go to class, but I am unable to. Someone is throwing something behind me. Go give them lines. I'm just like, if a student is just standing in a hall not responding to you, they might have some serious problems. Stop punishing them and help them. For, for the love of God, sir. Ah, uh, there we go. We figured it out. So I had to restart the game here. It is Q and A to apparently go up and down stairs. So here we go. Now we can actually go and try and get into trouble. Now I have no idea what I'm trying to do. I know I can uh, shoot my little slingshot at friends here. So I'm trying to steal my report card from the headmaster. Oh, I like knocked someone out. Let's just mug a bunch of students here. Uh, I'm trying to steal my report card. Have no idea how I'm supposed to go about doing that. Uh, the game doesn't really offer any real direction actually. I got 30 points though for attacking a student. Which means let's keep doing it. Wait, there's a way to like punch students, isn't there? Okay, sitting down, can I like sit in a desk? No. Oh yeah, you can like sit in a desk. Okay, why Why would they give you the option to just sit randomly on the floor? I have read that you get in trouble for sitting on the floor. This is like gonna be one of those confusing games where I don't really get that far because I don't fully understand what it is I'm supposed to do. I have read, however, that this is essentially one of the earliest examples of a sandbox game. Oh, can we go in the teacher's lounge? I bet they'll bust us. Probably not loud in there. Shoot them with a... <laughs> Literally walked into the teacher's lounge, shot them with a uh, slingshot. Ooh, we get a lot of lines from that. This is a private room. Alright, fine. I'm beating it. It is interesting how you have to kind of go around this school getting into trouble and not getting caught. Apparently you can also get into trouble for things you didn't even do. So like if a teacher gets hit by something and you're the closest one around, they will blame you and you will get into trouble. Which is actually kind of interesting. Like for such a, a simple old game, it's very interesting that they would have that kind of mechanic. 
Because that seems pretty sophisticated to me, if you ask me. What are these two kids doing hanging out over here? I don't know, but let's beat them up. I wish I, I knew what else we could do besides just beating them up. And they could shout something at me. Hey, you take one yourself. Hey, what the hell, man? Oh! <laughs> We're both just lying past down the hallway. Good. Okay, get up. Good Good thing no teacher's caught us doing that. Stop. I, I guess that's the bully. Although I feel like I'm the bully. This kind of reminds me of that game, uh, Bully, by Rockstar Studios, where you literally had to go around in a school being a bully, and uh, you were bullying other bullies, so it was, like, okay. But, uh, yeah, Bully. This kind of reminds me of that, in a way. So, I hate sums. I suspect he's doing math. Man, this is going to be, like, such a weird playthrough, because I don't fully know what we're supposed to be trying to do. Maybe I'll pause one more time here. Actually, yeah, let's do that, just so I have a bit of direction. Okay. I literally just went and read the purpose of this game. Somebody's attacking the headmaster, by the way, and it's not me. Or not the headmaster, the science guy. He's literally... The teacher's just getting shot by pellets. Okay, see how there are, like, shields in different rooms? There's, like, the red shield in the top left corner or whatever. Apparently, there are shields in different rooms, and we have to somehow go and knock them, which I'm going to try and do after the class. But after you knock the shields, the different teachers reveal a letter to you that is part of the combination of the headmaster's safe that have been hypnotically suggested to the teachers. I'm not joking you. And in order to figure out the, like, final letter, you need to figure out the year of birth of the headmaster. I don't know. This is... I'm just going to try and hit a couple of shields. That is my only goal in this playthrough and to cause a little bit of trouble. I'm going to be straight up with you guys right now. I'm not beating this game. This seems like a very confusing game. I'm not even fully confident in my ability to control my character. So this definitely is an interesting game in that it ranks very high on the complexity scale. But it's kind of sort of very low on the, the, the clarity scale, you know? Um, I could see this being quite an interesting game once you got the hang of it, but for someone who's just picking it out for the first time, never played this before in my life, this game just feels like daunting and confusing and scary. It's weird when you play a game where you don't know how to control it properly that's as complex as this, because you actually are kind of scared of messing things up. Like, if I stand up right now, what happens? Like, they're just in class having a lesson right now, and like, what am I supposed to do? Is there anything I can do? I don't even know. I don't fully know what all the buttons are. Okay, the hell with it. Let's... I was gonna say I'll, I'll try shooting that guy, but... No, I don't wanna... Okay, I just got 550 lines for sitting on the floor. Oh no! Stand up, damn it! <laughs> First of all, maybe I slipped. How does that teacher know? And second of all, it's so arbitrary. Why 550? Pretty stupid if you ask me. Okay, how do we jump? Oh. Ooh, we got one! Blinkin'! Okay, now I'm just <laughs> sitting repeatedly. Okay, jump again. Ooh, we got two blinking. Okay, we, we're making some progress here, guys. Okay. <laughs> now, this game was produced by Microsphere, which sounds like a really official sounding company. It was just a husband and wife team, kind of like uh, Ken and Roberta Williams, who uh, founded Sierra, if you're familiar with that. But they were uh, a, this team of... Uh, programmers, I suppose, that made a series of games in the uh, in the 80s, which is pretty cool. Now, apparently those shields right there, I tried to jump and I couldn't get them. I think you, uh, you can, like, shoot your pellets and bounce them off teachers' heads. That seems like a more advanced move. I'm too scared to do that because I'm definitely just going to get more lines. Apparently, if you get 10,000 lines, then you get expelled. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, that part just seems obvious, right? Oh, yeah, 10,000 lines. Of course you get expelled. But, uh, but yeah, husband and wife team. Apparently the husband did the coding and the wife... Sh what? Uh, giving me lines. I'm not in the right class. So I guess this is like Metal Gear Solid. We're going to have to sneak around. I'm really not putting much effort into sneaking. I think you can go commit suicide if you fall off the ledge there. But I'm going to try not to do that. Just gonna come. Oh my god, he gave me lines too. The other guy told me to get the class. I just got like 2,000 lines. The teachers here are way too strict, let me just say. What? Come with me, boy. Okay, where are we going? 
I don't understand what class I'm supposed to be in. What? He just gave me more lines for coming with him. You jerk. What do you want from me? Tell me. I'll sit in front of you repeatedly. <laughs> oh my god, the controls. This game is, is so difficult. Husband and wife team, why would you do this to me? He's just following me, giving me lines. What the hell? Where do you want me to go? I'll go wherever you want me to go. Just stop giving me lines. Oh, come on. What the hell? Don't try my patience, boy. All right, guys. So this is a game that makes very little sense. Oh, God. Very hard to figure out what the hell to do. What am I supposed to be in the white room? Is that it? Just, yeah, just fucking expel me already. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing. But my God. My God. Anyway, as I was saying, husband and wife team made this game and... Don't let Mickey touch you this playtime. He's got mom's... Ew. Press you if you understand. Okay, I probably wouldn't let Mickey touch me anyway during playtime. Oh my god, I sat by accident. Hitting the, the freaking wrong button. Oh my god, stop sitting, you idiot. You're gonna get in trouble. Oh, the stairs, they're so hard. <laughs> I can't even like get my little bits of trivia about this game out because this game is like trying. It's just so trying. Um, husband wife team, the husband programmed. He wrote all his code out on paper and his wife typed it into the computer for him. Could you imagine writing out code for a game and just doing it all on paper? That would be quite the achievement these days because games are pretty complex. But, you know, there was a time back in the era of, like, Commodore 64 and stuff. You buy a magazine and it would have just a whole bunch of lines of code. Oh, Somebody just straight up punched me. Where the hell's the teacher? I'm, just, I'm, like, passed out on the floor. Someone beat the crap out of me. I wonder, okay, hold on. Is the teacher going to give me lines for lying on the floor here? Because if so, that's bullshit. He gave me 150 lines for being beat up. Get off the floor. What a horrible school. Never send your kid to school days. It is a terrible school. I want to go jump off that balcony. Let's commit suicide. I've had enough of this really crappy school experience. I'm not learning anything. I'm just getting beat up. I haven't been able to hit a single shield. Come here, you, you jerk. Take one of these. I And it totally went over his head. Oh my god. Uh, what are the other things I wanted to talk about for this game? <laughs> oh, can I jump? I'm like punching the air. He's like doing a hoot and a holler and a whistle. I'm so close to getting expelled, by the way, with my 9,700 lines. Wait, can I can I do this? Does this do anything? Oh yay, we got a one stupid shield blinking. That's really gonna help my cause. I'm about to get expelled. Uh, have you ever heard of someone getting expelled for sitting on the floor too much? Because that's that's about what's about to happen to me. Just saying. Um, I know what else I was going to ta talk to you guys about. Um, were you guys a good student or a bad student in school? And this kind of relates to the fact, or to this other question I had, is whether you were, if, if you're in school right now, university or high school or whatever, were you guys looking forward to coming back to school at the beginning of September right now, or were you kind of dreading it? I think that kind of goes along with whether you're a good or, good or bad student. I don't think I ever... Somebody hit me in the head with a rock and I got lines? I, I, I'm about to be expelled. I'm literally being expelled. Because somebody threw a rock at my face. <laughs> oh my god. They're like hurting us like cattle. They're gonna kill us. You have over 10,000 lines to write J. Oh, it's like lines of like an essay. Like write 500 lines. That's, what a weird punishment. I've never heard of that. Where like a kid does something bad in school and they get like lines. Like you have 500 lines. You have to go and write 500 lines of like apology or something I think I just lost Ple press a key to play a game can I write the essay maybe and continue my game imagine let you do that it's like all right now write a 10,000 line essay and you actually had to write it before it allowed you to continue oh my god that would be a, a torturous game thankfully they don't let you do that they don't make you do that but uh yeah I, I wasn't a very good student when I was younger 
Uh, I think everyone has some rambunctious youth in them when they're younger. Well, some people do. But, like, I remember me and my friends used to, like, leave tacks on chairs of, like, each other trying to prank each other and stuff. We didn't usually do stuff to people who, like, weren't our friends. That's actually one thing I'm, I'm proud to say I never did. Usually when we were bad, we were, like, bad to each other because we were just sort of joshing with each other, you know. But, uh, oh, I remember one time. I don't know why we thought this was a good idea, but in our history class, me and a friend stole a handout from our teacher's folder that she was going to hand out in like a week. And we took it home and we scanned it in into uh, his computer and we literally edited the, the handout. And we put like really stupid things in it. Like really kind of like rude and stupid things. We like changed wordings and stuff so it was like offensive. And then we took it back and we put it back in her folder and she photocopied it and handed it out to the whole class. <laughs> That 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 always struck me as some kind of like Dennis the Menace type stuff. Like I didn't really do too many like really really bad things when I was a kid, but that always felt like movie esque or like that's like something you see in TV. So uh, I mean I don't know if I should be proud of that or whatever, but it was something stupid I did when I was young. Eh, it happens. Um, I remember we got detention a fair amount for just not paying attention in class. Generally, that was sort of our problem. Boom. Which, you know, I have heard that highly in I hate school. Yo. Yeah, you did. You're such a badass. Billy. Billy the bully. Um, but yeah, we, we usually didn't like paying attention in class. I mean, and I, I, I have heard... I'm just... I'm not saying that all kids who don't pay attention in school are, you know, really smart. But I have heard that... People who are above average in intelligence sometimes have trouble paying attention in school because they're bored. And I'm just going to say that's probably what was going on with me. <laughs> but, I mean, realistically, I think I just didn't want to be there. I wanted to be home playing video games. Um, but I remember one time I got detention, I the teacher left the room, and I literally set the clock ahead so I could get out early. And I had detention that whole week because I, I forget what I had done. But she was just sort of at wit's end with me. So she it was like three or four days in a row told me I had detention. And I set the clock ahead every single day. And by the third or fourth day, she realized her clock was like an hour ahead. And uh, I got into a little bit of trouble. Um, I, I think she wasn't really actually that mad at me. She just sort of like was kind of like smiling and like shaking her head like while she talked to me because she's like, you knew I would find out. How did you not know? Like, I think she th sort of thought it was funny, but she had to punish me, so I went back in for detention. Um, it's like, I, I hate school. I hate sums written all over the board. That'll show those teachers. Show them that we hate stuff. That'll really demoralize them. Everybody had that, like, one cool teacher. Here's Here's the one cool teacher in school. The one cool teacher that all the girls liked and all the guys wanted to be like. And then there's like the nerdy chemistry teacher. There's like the really old history teachers. A lot of stereotypes in this game. Although actually I guess the bully and Einstein. I thought Einstein would be like a really nerdy looking kid. But he's not that nerdy looking. Should we actually try and do this? Oh yeah we can't get anywhere near that. I have no idea how to do that. We're definitely not passing this game. I mean, when the game is so obscure that, like, you have to solve riddles of touching shields and guess teachers' birthdays in order to, like, unlock a combination. Why does he want his report card anyway? It's not like he gets it and can, like, run away with it. And he's like, aha, now that F will never go on my permanent record. It's like, no, if you're failing classes, you still get the F, whether they can find your report card or not. So I don't know what he was trying to achieve. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you one more one more thing I did as a kid. Now that I'm reminiscing, I might as well. One more time I had detention was we got caught. I think we, like, littered. And it, was, it wasn't it was even anything that big. We, like, threw a candy wrapper, I think, just on the ground. And, like, a janitor caught us. And the janitor told us that, or told me that I had to come after school and pick up a garbage bag's worth of garbage before I could go home. So he gave me a garbage bag. He told me to walk out around the schoolyard and pick up garbage. And to be totally honest, I don't even think there was a garbage bag's worth of garbage in our school. Like, I went to a relatively clean school. But, you know, there's, like, you know, Coke cans and the odd things out in the field. But I really didn't feel like doing that. And my friend who was, uh, who usually walked home with me was with me. And he was like, come on, man, I don't want to have to wait for you. And I was like really adamant that he can't go without me. So he kind of had detention too. And he was like, we just need to fill this bag up with something and get the hell out of here because I want to go home. So in, 
in our brilliance, we walked over to the sand pits and we filled the garbage bag up with sand. Then we went over to a garbage can and we dumped some garbage on top so it looked like a bag full of garbage. And then it was so heavy though because it was full of sand that we couldn't lift the bag. So we just dragged it across the pavement back into the school. And when you drag a garbage bag full of sand across pavement, you get a few nicks and holes in the bag. And when we got back into the school, we dragged it around the school looking for this janitor. Finally found him, gave him the bag. He was like, I hope you learned your lesson. Walked away, dragging the bag with him. As he was dragging the bag, I realized those little nicks and holes in the bag, they were leaking sand. And as he walked away, he was leaving a trail of sand behind him. And I looked behind us and there was a trail of sand going from the outside all the way inside. So this poor janitor, he was trying to punish these kids for misbehaving. And he probably ended up having to sweep like half the hallways in the school because of us that evening because we dragged so much sand in. So, um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> uh, just so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys have like stories of your youth where you did stuff that's really dumb. But I mean, look at what we're doing. Okay, you know, what? I just need to stop playing this game because I'm just walking around in circles. This is one of the more confusing games I've ever played. It's one of these weird games that like, in theory, the concept behind this game I really like. It reminds me of Bully, the modern game by Rockstar Games. We have to go around and kind of get into trouble. Jay is not here. Oh no, he did, he notices me. I wonder if he's going to give me lines, or if I don't show up if he won't give me lines. I'm like cutting class. Like the idea of doing this, of making a game where you can cut class and like sneak around and get into trouble, I think that's really cool. I think the implementation of this is not great considering today's standards. And so in the era when this came out, and you know, th this was heralded as a really, really good game. People really loved it. Again, it, it brought up the sandbox style of gameplay that would later be used in things like Little Computer People, which we've played, but also, you know, things like The Sims and so on. So this game definitely was influential and important. In terms of actually going back and playing it these days, I gotta say, I don't really know if it's worth it, to be totally honest. If you've never played this before, I don't even know how to run. He wants me to hurry up, but I, I can't. He's just giving me lines. Yeah, I'm just going to get expelled for skipping one class. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah, so, you know, like, pros and cons of this game, it, 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 does, it does have a lot of creativity and inventiveness for sure. But the cons are, I mean, it's so confusing, so difficult to control, and kind of like slow and simple and weird by today's standards. So, you know, if you're looking for something a little older, something a little more random and, and unique, you know, and you're interested in like a Commodore or ZX Spectrum game, or ZX Spectrum, I should say, ZX. I don't know why I say ZX, because, you know, I say Z when I say the letter, but for some reason ZX just sounds right to me. It's a ZX Spectrum. Anyway, if you're looking for one of those types of games that's a little more unique, this might be a game to check out. Definitely you're going to want to read some walkthroughs or manuals. I skimmed the manual, and I really have no idea what I'm doing here in this game. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to a fist fight. Let's just straight up attack a teacher. Boom! Oh, I missed, and he's probably just going to give me lines. No, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I, uh, how am I supposed to even, like, hurt him? Oh, I hit him in the head. Boom. Oh, he gave me lines for that, though. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, is this a game you should play before you die? I think the answer most definitely is... <sighs> You know, I was going to say no, definitively, but I'm going to go with maybe. I'm going to go with maybe because for all the reasons I said, I think there is something There is something here. I think that it's only going to be a uh, appeal to people who really want to sit down and learn the controls here. But or Maybe I'll rate this a no. I don't know. My rating may slightly change from this video to my website. I have to think about it a bit more. But anyway, those are my thoughts and opinions. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. If you agree, let me know in the comments below. And if you just want to tell me some story about when you got in trouble as a kid, let me know in the comments below. Either way, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this rather bizarre and uneducational video and game that we played today. If so, give me a like, uh, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a much more sophisticated game that I know what I'm doing in. Uh, I, I will promise you that. So the next video, we actually get to see some stuff happen. But anyway, until then, guys, take care of yourselves. I'm just going to 
be hanging around in the wrong classroom getting expelled. All right, guys, peace. Seriously, it's still loading. Still going, turning away. Lo loading rainbows upon rainbows. Occasionally making that noise. I have no idea what that means. I think I can see through time. It's hypnotizing me. I feel very, re I, I feel at peace with my life in the universe. Getting sleepy though. That urge to kill is building up inside.